As with bars 1 to 6, throughout bars 7 to 12, Pakal Bell essentially retains the chorale's bass part. Unlike bars 1 to 6, however, here the partita's middle part is almost exclusively taken from the chorale's tenor, which Pakal Bell simplifies with the removal of some embellishments. The final bar is identical with bar 4, the end of the chorale's initial phrase. Bar 7 begins in the key of B minor, with Puckel Bell here using a changing note figure to prolong the fifth of E minor subdominant harmony. To create a four note group between B and the following D harmony note, Puckel Bell initially moves to this G, the third of subdominant harmony, which is taken from the chorale's alto part before ascending through the C sharp to D, the third of tonic B minor harmony. Puckel Bell then creates motion between the two D harmony notes by prolonging F sharp, the chord's fifth, using again the changing note figure. Here, the initial D harmony note and the changing note figure interact in thirds with the ascending scale fragment in the bass, while here, the second D harmony note creates a dissonance with this E passing note before moving through an escape note to C sharp, the fifth of dominant harmony. While harmonic thirds and sixths are still the preferred intervals of interaction between parts, in some contexts a harmonic dissonance will occur when a harmony note interacts with a non-harmony note. Typically the dissonance will occur on a metrically weak part of the bar and or beat, and as here the contour of both parts will typically possess a strong drive forward. In this instance, both parts move in contrary motion towards the root note and fifth of cadential F-sharp dominant seventh harmony. Through this bar, the chorale soprano and alto parts are combined using compound melody. The soprano's C-sharp note is initially prolonged using lower and upper neighbour notes, while the alto's E and D notes are included as part of two four-note groups which connect to the soprano's C-sharp and B notes with a leap and scale fragment. The alto's D is then re-sounded here as the third of this tonic B minor arpeggio. Bar 9 begins in the key of D major, with Paco Bell again using compound melody to combine the chorale soprano and alto parts. The chorale soprano F-sharp notes are initially prolonged with a leap to the alto's D note, which is here approached by an incomplete lower neighbour note, before ascending to A, the tonic's fifth. This A then moves to the following B soprano note, the third of G subdominant harmony. Throughout this bar and the next, the compound melody continues essentially moving as sixth between the chorale soprano and alto parts. To create four note groups, Paco Bell again uses neighbour notes to prolong the chorale's harmony notes, although here and here an A major arpeggio is used to combine the notes of the chorale soprano and alto parts. Here the compound melody continues in sixth as another layer of voice leading is created between this B note, the root note of B minor harmony, which is here included to create a four note group, and this A. This additional layer of voice leading here moves with the literal voice leading of the chorale soprano and alto parts. Compound melody is again used in the following bar, with Puckel Bell here initially displacing the chorale's D alto note into the soprano part, before returning it to its original octave. Here, although the chorale's alto C sharp is included, it is as an upper neighbour note to B, and not as a root note of C sharp leading note half diminished seventh harmony as it is in the chorale. These notes then behave as a passing chord between root position and first inversion tonic harmony a status confirmed by the omission of the C-sharp's resolution to D. Instead of this resolution to the alto's D, 
Paco Bell instead includes the tenor's A note, which is combined with the soprano part to create a four note group, leading to the fifth degree and root note of E minor supertonic seventh harmony in the following bar. As mentioned earlier, the final bar is identical with bar four. Along with the recurring melodic ideas discussed at the end of the previous video, to create four note groups in these bars, Paco Bell also introduces arpeggio figures and the changing note figure, which is used on its own or combined with other notes or used with slight melodic modification. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.